Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to draw a mushroom in Procreate. We'll use simple shapes to create the mushroom and then add some texture and shading. We'll use brushes that are included in Procreate. You can make all kinds of mushrooms using this method. Let's get started. These are the colors that I'm going to use to draw the mushroom. I'll also include these colors on the screen as we draw. If you want, you can pause this screen and create a color palette. You can tap value at the bottom of the colors menu and enter the hexadecimals for the colors. Then add them to your color palette. I'm going to use a screen size canvas. So tap on the plus sign and choose screen size. Now I'm going to tap on layer one and I'll tap rename. And I'm going to call this cap. So now open the brush library, and I'm going to get the monoline brush located in the calligraphy set. This mushroom is going to be red. You can choose a red color from the color disk, or if you want the color I used, tap value at the bottom of the colors menu and enter the hexadecimal that appears on the screen. Now let's draw the mushroom shapes. We're going to start by drawing the mushroom cap. You could use a variety of different shapes depending on how you want your mushroom to look. We'll create this shape by warping a circle, but you could also draw the shape by hand. One method I like is to use the symmetry tool to draw the mushroom cap. Let's draw the circle. The brush size is about 10% and the opacity is 100%. I'm going to draw a fairly large circle and when I'm done drawing, I'll hold my Apple Pencil down until it snaps into a shape. I'll tap this ellipse button at the top of the screen and tap Circle. Then drag from the color swatch into the circle to fill it with red. Now let's make this into more of a mushroom shape. Tap on the arrow. At the bottom of the screen, you can tap Freeform and then Snapping. I'll toggle Snapping on. The distance is max and the velocity is max. Now I'll move this circle into the center of the screen. Now I'll tap warp and advanced mesh. I'm going to drag this lower right node nearly to the right edge of the canvas and up slightly. I'll repeat this on the left side. How you warp this shape depends on how you want the mushroom to look. I'm going to move these two upper middle nodes until they meet in about the center of the shape. And I'll move these side nodes inwards just slightly. Now I'm going to tap Freeform and toggle snapping off for a moment. And I'll drag this lower node up to make the mushroom shorter. Tap on the arrow to exit this screen. If you like how the shape looks, you can leave it like this. But I want to edit this shape more. So to do this, tap on the Adjustments button and tap Liquify. Tap Push at the bottom of the screen. I'll start by making the size about 50%. The pressure is max, the distortion is none, and the momentum is none. You can use the liquify tool to shape the mushroom more. I'm going to push the right side of the mushroom cap in slightly, and I'll repeat this on the left side. You may need to adjust the size to get the results you want. To make this look more hand-drawn, I'm going to set the size of the push to about 30%. Now I'm going to make some of these edges less perfect by pushing them just a little bit. You can undo a single action by tapping two fingers on the screen. To undo all of the liquify changes, you can tap the reset button. I won't push these edges too much, and I'm not going to paint over every edge because I want this effect to be subtle. I think that looks pretty good, so I'm going to tap on the adjustments button to leave this screen. Now I want to make the bottom of the mushroom cap. So swipe left on the cap layer and press duplicate. 
tap on this layer, tap rename, and I'll call this cap bottom. Now I'm going to get a light bluish gray color, and I'll fill this layer with it. Now tap on the arrow. With freeform selected, I'll tap my Apple Pencil a few times above the center of this shape to move it upwards. This will create a red rim below the shape. To create the underside of the cap, I want to erase the top of this shape and leave just an oval-like shape at the bottom. So tap on the Selection button and tap Freehand. I'll draw a curved line from the left side of this shape to the right. And then without lifting my Apple Pencil, I'll draw around the top of the gray shape. Now I've selected the top of this shape, and I can tap on the cap bottom layer and press Clear. I'm going to tap and hold on the eraser to erase with the brush that I'm currently using, which is the monoline brush. I'm going to make my eraser about 10% and make sure the opacity is 100%. Now erase the sides of the gray shape to make them more rounded and to make this shape look more like the underside of the mushroom. If you want to modify this shape more, you can tap on the arrow. I'll tap Warp and Advanced Mesh. If you want an uneven edge, you can drag one of the top nodes down and one up. You can also drag the other nodes to make the shape fit the mushroom better. Then tap on the arrow. I want to create a light line above the top of the shape that I just created. So swipe left on the cap bottom layer and press Duplicate. I'll rename this layer Line. I'll get a pink color. And I'll fill the shape with this color. Now drag the line layer underneath the cap bottom layer. Tap on the arrow and tap Freeform. I'll tap my Apple Pencil a few times above the center of this shape until I see a pink line appear. You can tap Warp and Advanced Mesh and use the nose to make this line appear to taper off at the sides. Try not to make the pink shape move below the gray shape as you warp it. Now tap on the arrow to exit the screen. Before we move on to the next steps, make any additional changes you want to make to your shapes. Okay, so I want to delete most of the pink shape and leave just a pink line above the underside of the cap. To do this, I want to erase the part of the pink shape that overlaps with the gray shape. So tap on the cap bottom layer and press select. Then tap on the line layer and press clear. Turn off the visibility of the cap bottom layer to make sure that there's just a pink line. If there are any additional pink areas, use the eraser to erase them from the line layer. Then turn the cap bottom visibility back on. Now tap on the cap bottom layer and press select. Then tap on the cap layer and press clear. This will clear the cap bottom layer from the cap layer. Then move the cap bottom layer below the cap layer. Because I've erased the underside of the cap from the cap layer, it will be easier to position a stem between these layers in a moment. I want to move this cap up to make room for the stem. So with the cap bottom layer selected, swipe right on the cap layer and swipe right on the line layer. So all of the layers are blue. Now these can be moved or resized together. I'll tap on the arrow and I'll tap Uniform at the bottom of the screen. And I'll turn Snapping back on. 
I'm going to drag one of the nodes to make this slightly smaller. And then I'll move this up to make room for the stem. When you're done, make sure the shapes are centered horizontally on the canvas. Then tap on the arrow. Now we're ready to draw the stem. So tap on the cap bottom layer to deselect the other layers, and then make a new layer above the cap bottom layer and below the cap layer. I'll call this layer stem. I'm going to get a beige color. I'm going to draw an oval and warp it into a stem shape, but you could also draw the stem by hand. One method I like is to use the symmetry tool to draw the stem. Let's draw the oval. So I'll draw a vertical oval on the screen and I'll hold my Apple Pencil down when I'm done drawing to snap it into an oval. And without lifting my Apple Pencil, I'll tap one finger on the screen to make the oval perfectly vertical. Now fill the oval with the beige color. Let's warp this into a stem shape. Tap on the arrow and then tap freeform. I'll snap the oval into the center of the cap. I'm also going to make it longer by dragging the lower node down. Then I'll tap warp and advanced mesh. I'm going to drag these two lower center nodes up to flatten the bottom of the stem. I want this to be a rectangular shape that flares out at the bottom. So I'll pull these two lower side nodes out. You can adjust the other nodes to make the stem fit the mushroom. Sometimes if you warp shapes a lot, the edges can get blurry. So if you find that you have to adjust the stem too much to get the shape that you want, you may want to draw it by hand instead of warping an oval. Now I'm going to go back to freeform, and I'll make the stem longer. You could adjust the width as well if you want. When you're done, tap on the arrow. Okay, I think this shape looks good for the stem. There's a red line in front of the stem, but I'm going to erase that in a moment. You could leave the mushroom like this, but I'm going to tilt the cap. To do this, tap on the line layer, then swipe right on the cap and the cap bottom layers so that all of the layers are blue except for the stem layer. Now tap on the arrow, and I'm going to use uniform. I'll turn snapping off and make the cap slightly smaller. Now I'll turn snapping back on and move the cap so that the stem is centered on it. Then I'll move the green node to rotate the cap. You can tap on the green node and enter an exact rotation. I'll rotate this 6 degrees. Then tap on the arrow. Because I tilted the cap, the stem no longer looks right. So I'm going to adjust it a bit. Tap on the stem layer, and then tap on the arrow. I'll tap Warp and Advanced Mesh. And I'm going to drag these upper nodes to make the stem fit this rotation better. Then I'll drag all four of these nodes slightly to the right. And I'll drag all four of these nodes to the right as well. And this will curve the stem. And then I'll just drag this lower left node to the left. Tap on the arrow when you're done adjusting the stem. Now I want to remove the red line that's in front of the stem. And you could simply erase this using the eraser, but to be more precise, I'm going to select it and clear it. To do this, tap on the stem layer and tap select. At the bottom of the screen, tap freehand and then remove. Draw around the part of the stem that appears above the red line to remove it from the selection. Then open the layers, tap on the cap layer, and press clear. Some mushrooms have a frilly shape at the top of the stem, which is called the ring. So let's add this to our mushroom. Swipe left on the stem layer and press duplicate. I'm going to call this layer ring. Now get a gray color that's lighter than the cap bottom color. And I'll fill this shape with it. I want to erase about three quarters of this gray shape. So you could simply use the eraser, but I'm going to select the area that I want to erase and clear it from the overall shape. To do this, tap on the selection button. 
Tap freehand. I'll draw a line where I want the ring shape to end, and then continue drawing the line until I've encircled the entire gray stem shape below the line. Now tap on the ring layer and press clear. I want to give the ring a frilly edge, so tap on the adjustments button and tap liquify. I'm going to make the size about 14%. Now I'll pull some of this gray shape down to create a couple of lines. On the sides, I'll push the lines out away from the stem a bit. It's okay if these go behind the red line. When you're done, tap on the arrow. I'll tap freeform and turn snapping off. Then I'll make this ring just slightly wider. And maybe I'll warp it a little. Then tap on the arrow to exit this screen. Okay, so my ring went behind the red line, and to fix this I could erase it, but I'm going to tap on the ring layer and press select. I'll tap freehand and remove. I'll draw around the part of the ring that goes above the red line to remove it from the selection. Then I'll tap on the cap layer and press clear. The basic mushroom shapes are done. Now we just need to add shading and texture to the mushroom. Let's start with the cap. I'll make a new layer above the cap layer. I'll call it cap shade. And then I'll tap on this layer and tap clipping mask. Because we're using a clipping mask, anything we draw on this layer will stay within the mushroom cap. I'll get the oil pastel brush from the sketching set. I need a color that's darker than the cap color. I'll get this dark magenta color. I'll make the size of the brush about 5% and the opacity about 94%. I'm going to sketch a shadow just inside the left side and left bottom area of the mushroom cap. This brush is pressure sensitive, so the harder you press with your Apple Pencil, the darker it will be. I'm going to use light pressure and build up the texture slowly. I'll lift my Apple Pencil sometimes to vary the texture. I'll make the shading lighter as I move to the middle of the cap. I'm going to shade the back edge of the mushroom as well. I think that looks pretty good, so let's add some medium shading. I'm going to use a pink color. I'll use light pressure to build up the medium shading over the center area of the mushroom cap. I'll also shade lightly over the darker shading on the left to add some of the medium color here and I'll shade very lightly on the right side of the cap as well. This mushroom is going to have some spots on top of it. Create a new layer above the cap shade layer. I'll call this layer spots. Tap on this layer and tap clipping mask. I'll get the marker brush from the inking set. You could use white for the color, but because I'm going to use a blend mode, I'll use a yellow gold color. I'll make the size of the brush about 28% and the opacity 100%. Now I'm going to paint some round shapes on the mushroom cap. These don't have to be perfect circles. They can be different sizes and shapes. Add as many as you like. Now I want these spots to have the texture and some of the color of the mushroom cap. So I'm going to open the layers, and I'll tap on the N on the spots layer, and I'll choose the blend mode color dodge. I'm 
Maybe I'll add a few more spots. I'm going to give this mushroom a highlight. So create a new layer above the spots layer. I'll call it highlight. Tap on this layer and tap clipping mask. I'll get the soft brush from the airbrushing set. I'll get white for the color. So you can double tap in the white area of the color disc to get white. I'll make the size of the brush about 4% and the opacity about 77%. Now I'll paint a highlight near the top right edge of the mushroom cap. I'll use light pressure to draw a line and I'll make it a bit brighter in the center of the highlight. This should be subtle. If the highlight is too bright, you can lower the opacity of it by tapping on the N on the highlight layer and reducing the percentage of the opacity slider. To make this mushroom stand out a bit more, I'm going to add an outline around it. Create a new layer above the highlight layer, and I'll call it Cap Outline. Tap on this layer and tap Clipping Mask. I'll get the 6B pencil from the sketching set. I'm going to use a dark magenta color again, so you can get that from your color history. I'll make the size of the brush 100% and the opacity about 50%. I'll use the edge of the brush to create an outline around the sides and top of the mushroom cap. This doesn't have to be a perfect outline, it can be darker in areas and thicker in areas, and that's okay. I think this outline helps the mushroom look more hand-drawn and makes it stand out from the background. The mushroom cap is done, so let's shade the stem. We use the same method to shade the stem that we did with the mushroom cap. So make a new layer above the stem layer. And I'm going to call this stem shade. Then I'll tap on this layer and tap clipping mask. Now I'll get the oil pastel brush from the sketching set. I'll get a darker beige color than the one I used to draw the stem. I'm going to make the brush size smaller, maybe 3%. Now as I did with the cap, I'm going to shade the left side of the stem. I'll shade just inside the left edge and bottom edge of the stem and extend lighter shading toward the center. I'll start with light strokes, lift my Apple Pencil sometimes, and build the shading up slowly. I'll shade along the bottom edge of the stem. And I'll add some shading underneath the ring as well. Keep adding the dark shade until you like how it looks. Now I'm going to get a medium gold color for the medium shading. Using light pressure, I'll add this color to the central area of the stem, somewhat overlapping the dark shade. I'll add it very lightly to the right area of the stem as well. I want to add some lines to this stem. So create a new layer, and I'll call it Stem Lines. I'll tap on this layer and tap Clipping Mask. I'll find the copper head brush from the drawing set. I'm going to get a color that's almost white. I'll make the size of the brush about 15% and the opacity 90%. 
This brush will change size based on Apple Pencil pressure. I'm going to draw a vertical line using medium pressure near the right edge of the stem. Then I'll draw additional lines using lighter pressure in the middle and left areas of the stem. Now let's add an outline to the stem like we did with the mushroom cap. Create a new layer. I'll call it Stem Outline. Tap on the layer and tap Clipping Mask. I'll get the 6B pencil from the sketching set. And I'm going to get that dark beige color that we used for the dark shading of the stem from my color history. I'll add some darker shading where the upper curve of the frilly edge meets the stem. I'll extend the shading underneath the frilly lines that pull away from the stem as well. And now let's add an outline to make this stem stand out from the background. The stem is done, so now I'm going to add the lines that are on the underside of the mushroom cap, which are called the gills. Tap on the cap bottom layer and create a new layer above it. I'll call this layer gill lines. Now tap on this layer and tap clipping mask. I'll get the chalk brush from the calligraphy set. and I'll get a dark gray color. I'll make the size about 10% and the opacity about 52%. Now I'm going to start drawing where I think the stem connects to the mushroom cap. I'll start directly to the right side of the stem and I'll draw a curved line using medium pressure from the stem to the back edge of the cap. Continue to draw lines and try to keep them evenly spaced. I'm not going to add the lines on the left just yet. Now I'll get white for the color. I'll increase the size of the brush to about 15%. And I'll reduce the opacity to about 42%. Now I'll draw white lines directly underneath each of the gray lines. I'll use more pressure in the center of the lines as I draw them to make this area brighter. Now, depending on the shape of your mushroom, you may need to repeat this process to draw the lines on the left side of the mushroom. Because my mushroom is pretty symmetrical, I'm going to just copy these lines and flip them to the other side. To do this, I'll swipe left on the gill lines layer and press duplicate. I'll tap on the arrow and with freeform selected, I'll tap flip horizontal. Now I'll just move these duplicated lines into place on the left side of the mushroom. You may need to rotate them using the green node. And then I'll tap the arrow. Now I'll tap on the duplicated lines layer and I'll tap merge down. Now let's add some shading. Create a new layer above the gill lines. I'll call this cap bottom shade. Tap on this layer and tap clipping mask. I'll get the oil pastel brush from the sketching set. I'm going to use a gray color that's darker than the underside of the cap, but lighter than the gill lines. I'll shade underneath the edge of the mushroom cap.
and along the sides and lower part of the cap bottom shape. I'll also add shading to the left and right of the ring. I'm not going to shade the center of this shape. To add some more dark shading, I'll get the chalk brush from the calligraphy set. And I'll get a darker gray color. I'll reduce the size of the brush to about 6%. And I'll make the opacity about 52%. Now I'm just going to draw some thin lines on either side of the ring. I'll also add some of this dark gray color in these small spaces between the ring and the back rim of the cap. This will make the ring stand out more. The mushroom is almost done, we just need to shade the ring. So tap on the ring layer and create a new layer above it. I'll call this ring shade. I'll tap on the layer and tap clipping mask. Get a color that's darker than the ring to create some dark shading. I'll make the size of the brush about 24% and the opacity about 76%. To make the ring look like it's pleated, I'll add some darker lines from the upward curve of each frill to almost the top of the ring. Follow the contours of the ring. I'll add some shading to the sides as well. and I'll add shading underneath the cap. Now I'll get white for the color. Add highlights to the pleated edge between the shadows. Okay, the drawing is done. Let's just group the layers so we can move the mushroom or resize it. Tap on the top layer, which should be the line layer. Swipe right on each layer below it until all of the layers are blue. At the top of the layers menu, tap group. Now I'm going to tap on this small arrow to collapse the group. I'll tap on the new group layer and rename it mushroom. I'm going to swipe left on this group and press duplicate. Then I'll turn off the visibility of the previous mushroom group layer. I'll tap on the top group layer and tap flatten. Now the mushroom is all in one layer and can be easily moved or resized. You can change the background or add in some more mushrooms and other elements. You can use this method to create lots of different mushrooms. Thanks for watching this tutorial.